Alexa, stop. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Here is your affirmation for today. I focus on my breath to bring calmness. Wow. Thanks, girl. like so faint i think i'm going crazy senior year yay <laughs> oh my god it's literally my last first day today like what I cannot believe today is the first day of school. I've done my YouTube channel pretty much all four years of high school. And this is like really sentimental, guys. It's like we're having our last little one-on-one -on -one, like school get ready with me talk. Like literally last first day. Just think about how depressing that is. I originally set my alarm for 5.50 in the morning to see if like I could get up and like put on a pair of sweats and go make the senior sunrise. But it's not looking like that's happening because it's senior sunrise right now and I'm still at my house. And if we know me, we all know I'm late all the time. So it's probably best we're just here drinking my energy drink. Hold up. Oh, okay, chill. This is my new energy drink. My mom got it for me. It's from Amar. I don't really know what that is either, so sorry. It's a good for your gut energy drink. I'm assuming all natural, doesn't have chemicals. Clean energy nourishes the gut microbiome. No artificial flavors, colors, sweeteners, and it's vegan. No GMO, no gluten, no dairy, no soy, all that. Whatever that means. I'll take it. I've been debating since last night whether or not I should straighten or curl my hair. And for straight hair, not only can I do the straightening iron, but I can also do like my blow dry brush and do the can flow out. But that takes a long time and I'm not really sure I want to go like all out on the first day. But like, yes I do. Ava, what are you talking about? You're never going to have a first day again, at least in high school. This is a lot of pressure. I'll be back. Good. Literally, what are the chances? Yummy, yummy. I want my makeup to last as long as possible today. We're gonna do my hair first. I feel like for me lately, I've been liking my hair straight, so we're gonna do that. And then I asked you guys some questions on my Instagram that I can like answer in this vlog. So if you don't already follow my Instagram, go follow it. I'm just gonna get this one out because I think every single person asks this. Are you planning on going to college? Yes. I'm just not really sure where. Um, everyone keeps telling me that like I need to start doing my application. Blah, blah, blah. Like, <sighs> let me be. Let me live my life. What do you do to wake up on time? Nothing. Girl, like I literally like forced myself out of bed. Anything you wish you did differently freshman through junior year. So many things. But when it comes to looking back on my high school years, this also kind of corresponds with like people asking for advice is that you can't let it get you down because people make mistakes there's things that you're gonna do wrong there's things that other people are gonna do wrong that are gonna affect your friends your time your life basically and it's just not everything i regretted so much how i acted sophomore year because i was a little out of it you could say like i was just not in my happiest state that was when i took like a huge break from youtube that year was just a lot for me which i really regret how I went upon like my friends. I wasn't necessarily like a bully or anything, but I just was only thinking about myself. But like I said, I'm glad to have those experiences because it's taught me so much on how I want to act as a person and it's made me grow so much. Do you drive or take the bus? I drive. Luckily, I have a car. Thank you to my mommy. How has your style developed? That is a good question because this year I literally went all out on like revamping my whole closet for the school year i'm not kidding you when i say like i'm selling so much of my old clothes because it's actually none of it's my style like i kind of started freshman year skinny jeans maybe a baggy top or crop top and like low top 
Converse. I have always been a Converse girl. And then I kind of got into my like somewhat baggy jean, like mom jean and those wide leg jeans. I was definitely a crop top girly for most of my high school. But this year, something in me has just changed, partly because my dress code is so strict. But I'm really into like dressing in more baggy clothes, like low rise. I just have no interest in wearing crop tops. And that has nothing to do with confidence because I think anyone can pull off a crop top. I just like the look of like free people baggy shirts, if that makes sense. So my style has definitely developed a lot. Side one, done. There's a few that's asking like, what are my plans after high school? My biggest answer right now is literally taking it easy. Like I have no clue what I'm gonna do. There's always people asking me about college, etc., etc. And don't get me wrong, I want to go to college, but I just don't know if it's gonna be right away. Someone said I'm gonna take a gap year. That is a huge possibility. There's a possibility I could do like two years of community college and then transfer to a university because I really do want to focus on YouTube. It's been a passion of mine, like I said, since the beginning of high school. I love everything to do with it. Okay, it's getting like steamy in here. I'm low-key hot. Give me a sec. Do you like Lululemon? Yes. I literally love everything about them. What class are you? most excited for this year and what is your schedule i'm definitely most excited i think for my journalism class really 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 love the teacher but that's like basically my only elective so i'm super excited how that goes should be an easy it's my fourth block but my schedule is different this year it used to be where i had four classes the whole semester and it would change per semester but now i have all eight classes all year and i have all my classes on mondays and then a days on tuesday thursday and b days are on wednesday friday for my A days, I have comp, which is just my required 12th grade English class, civics, physics, and then journalism. And then B day, I have trig, or maybe Bible, then trig, because I go to a private school. So like, we have a required Bible class for you, which I do actually enjoy. That's another question I saw earlier. I think involving Christianity in my school has changed a lot of things in a big perspective of my life and has affected a lot of things in a positive way. But back to my B day, I actually don't have my last two blocks. So I have like double early release. So technically I get out like at 11.30 at my lunch, which is like really good. <laughs> Gives me way more time to focus on YouTube and like do my homework and not be stressed during the day. Go to the gym, you know, all that good stuff. Cause I'm planning on getting back in the grind. How do you not get the ick from boys? Um, I do. Like I swear. My biggest piece of advice though is to literally just not settle because you will find a guy that you really like one day that will treat you like a queen and you'll know you really like him if you don't get the ick from him. Because if you continuously get the ick from a guy, you don't really like him. You're just finding things that are like, uh, like why? <laughs> that's disgusting. You know, that's what you're basically doing. Do you have a boyfriend? No, but like, yes. What is the best advice you can give someone? Literally be yourself. Like I do not care how many freaking people will say that nobody listens you have so much to you you are so unique what are you doing to yourself if you're not being yourself like people are mean i've dealt with that all through high school but if you're just gonna sit there and like basically cater to them and not be yourself because of it you're letting them win it's just like you're perfect the way you are you know because being yourself can lead to so many things it's just a part of your life people can change you can change just don't force yourself to change like just let yourself evolve and develop Favorite subject is math. I love math so much. Oh gosh. oh gosh. I'm gonna finish my hair and then I'll get back to the questions. I finished my hair. Hopefully it like stays all day. When I straighten it. I don't pin straighten it. I like curl the ends under because I like how that looks. It's crazy because as many get ready with me as I film on TikTok, I literally don't film get ready with me on YouTube very often. So this is fun. But we're gonna get ready now. As I continue answering questions, of course. <laughs> A few people ask what my makeup routine is. So like, I'm just gonna kind of be showing you all the products as we go first up being this glossier priming moisturizer this is like basically my primer it's so good honestly better than jump elephant it's too much though i'm gonna use it as a hand lotion <laughs> what is your favorite starbucks drink honestly y'all gonna hate me for this but i literally don't drink starbucks that often i probably eat their food more often personally i'm more of like a bigfoot java type of girl or gourmet latte like kind of the more little coffee 
coffee stands I think have better drinks. My go-to order is probably a spiced chai with a shot of espresso and hemp milk because hemp milk is like the only milk that doesn't hurt my stomach. That's my favorite drink. Are you more excited or scared? I think you meant for seeing like for the year, right? It's definitely something that I need to get used to because all my friends are graduated. I'm basically kind of going in a blank slate but very open to new possibilities. Like I was talking about earlier, I used to be so close-minded. I want to make new friends this year partly because I'm going in with like acquaintances, not like best friends. That's something I've struggled with my whole life is that I've never been best friends with anybody. I'm just kind of like there for people. That sounds so bad. Like I have friends, but my best friend, my best friends don't go to my school and it sucks. A reason why I moved to private Christian school is because I have the worst anxiety ever. That's another question on here. I've struggled with it my whole entire life and going to public school with like 13,000 kids. I mean, sorry, 1,300. Jeez. <laughs> was not good for my environment, especially when you are in your awkward stage in seventh grade and you were getting bullied. I transferred to this smaller school hoping that it would be good for me, but and then like I made friends outside of school. Now I have to go back to a small school that barely has any people that already have their friend groups. My school is so clicky. <laughs> it's very hard to go in with a YouTube channel because there's people that are like, oh, go Ava, like I see you. And then there's people that are like, um... Like, what are you doing? This is a joke. I try to surround myself with the right people, if that makes sense. But I never answered the question. I'm probably more nervous because like I just explained, when you don't have any friends that go to your school, best friends, it's really hard to get excited about all the senior activities. But I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how my year's going because I'm gonna go into a smile and positiveness. Moving on, do people at your school like that you do YouTube? Yes, partly. Part of the reason why I don't like vlog at school like you guys always ask me to is because, again, since I go to such a small school, I don't really know who my people are. And there's some people that will just try me in the vlog and then they'll shout out their socials or something. And that's how you know. I just, I can't really explain it, but it's my last year. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can because I just wanna document it. And being so open here, because I seriously have always struggled at this school because of how clicky it is. And I'm not saying I regret transferring here because like I found God, I found so many positive things that led me to the person I am today. But it is definitely a difficult school. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna do it. Favorite clothing brands. I need to wet this. I don't know what I'm still doing. You guys are on my spray bottle. Favorite clothing brands right now are probably Free People. Oh my gosh, it's 7 a.m. already. Aritzia probably. Do you have a strict dress code? Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys my first day of school outfit back there I planned out. It is not dress code approved. I'm debating if I wear it because like I know they don't dress code the first day But do I just wear it to wear it or do I change but you cannot show your shoulders You cannot show any midriff which is your stomach. Why did I start YouTube? I talk to myself I've always talked to myself but my old channel from when I was like 10 and 11 You can really see that I've always just loved doing it and since I was like eight You'll see me doing my hair even my mom can vouch for me on this and I'm talking to myself the Thing that makes you start a YouTube channel is just going out of your comfort zone like if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, do it. Because I'm so thankful to where I've gotten. It's led to so many opportunities and people that support me. And I feel like I have like my own little family with you guys. Do you act different on camera than you do off camera? Literally, no. If you watch some of my videos with my friends, you will see me screaming. Like, I am so energetic. I try and show everything real. Are you excited to graduate? Yeah. When are you moving and are you going to make a vlog? Yeah. Bruh, of course. I'm moving hopefully early next year. It's really up in the air. It could be January, February, March, or April. But we're building a house. I'm gonna make like a bunch of room videos, etc. Oh my god, how do you not get burnt out? I do. Everyone does. It's a natural thing. My anxiety has a lot to play in that. I'll probably make like a dedicated video on that low key because I think that is such a good question and I could like dig really deep into that because I'm good at advice. This mascara is really juicy. Like I like it. Sweet or salty girl? Probably sweet, honestly. Like I have a huge sweet tooth. The last question I'll answer is my car, which is a Mazda CX-5 2021. I love her to death. Molly the Mazda. She's so cute. Okay, one more question. What is your favorite food? Tacos. I love tacos. Any type of tacos. Street tacos, soft tacos, hard tacos. Like, give me a taco and I'll be your best friend. One more question, actually. What are some of your goals you want to achieve before you graduate? First off, I want to try and get to like 200,000 subscribers. And then I want to make at least one new friend or two and not get dress coded this year because last year, oh my gosh. Oh, and also try and be on time to my classes because I'm not good at being there on time for my first block, but we are 
ready. I did my makeup. It is now 7.20. Basically pretty much ready. I've been talking so much. So we're gonna get my outfit on and I'm gonna show you. This is what I was going to wear, but everything is telling me no, 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 no. I love this color on me and I just love the fit, but like it's literally 50 degrees outside. I thought it was gonna be warmer. So we're having a little midlife crisis because I'm not gonna wear this. I'm just not. This actually could be really cute. Can we agree that this is like too baggy? Like too baggy on baggy? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. After a long range of panic attacks, this is what I think I'm wearing. Hopefully, I don't like sweat my pits out. <laughs> Basically, I'm wearing this Madewell top. Can you see the ruching? There's like ruching right there. It's long sleeve and it's like the perfect length. And then these jeans are from Aritzia. Now for the majorly important part, jewelry. We're gonna be so honest and literally obliterating in this and I'm not even like in like the stressful environment of school So I don't know if this is gonna work, but like I have like 10 minutes and I'm stressed This is just like this is the worst thing that could happen. Okay, wait, I have this this could wait This could be cute. Oh wait, I think I found the fit tuck it in. I'm literally so good at this Okay, this is what I'm wearing. I love this top like I love the color and the folded sleeves You already know this is what I'm wearing. Okay, it's so cute. Yay. Now I have to deal with my backpack the backpack this handmade one from Erin Maid. I'm gonna do a what's in my backpack soon. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good. Yay! And I think the straight hair was the move because if I curled it, like everyone and their mother curls it on the first day of school. I'm really, really happy with this fit. I'm gonna go take pictures outside because you know it's the last first day of school pictures that my mom's gonna take of me. Really terrifying. Oh, I need earrings. <gasps> that would have been traumatizing. I would have cried on the way to school. Okay.